talk a little bit about the living wage. There's been a couple articles that uh, I've seen that have been talking about the, the idea of, uh, of what a living wage should be, right? Uh, CBS News, CBS News reported this, uh, and they said, uh, well, Wall Street bonuses fell by 17%. Well, of course they did, because, uh, you know, they didn't cause a crash and fuck over the middle class. So they ain't getting their fucking bonuses. They didn't do their job. They didn't they didn't make uh, banks richer. They didn't make the 1% even richer by betting against their own system. You know, you're not getting a fucking bonus. You didn't screw over millions of Americans. Fuck you. Sons of bitches. Their bonuses since 1985 has increased 1,000%. Uh, while the minimum wage has increased 116%. Uh, that means a, a tenth. Minimum wage has gone up a tenth in comparison to Wall Street bonuses. A tenth! That's fucking crazy. Where minimum wage should be, um, if, if we are to increase Wall Street bonuses and minimum wage uh, at an even keel, it would be at $33 an hour. That is uh, about a little over two times uh, more than what we're pitching the minimum wage to be. Pitching it at $15 an hour. That's what a lot of people want the minimum wage to be, right? Because it's, it's at uh, $7.25, maybe $7.50. Um, so really even what people are asking for is double that. But really what it should be is four times where it's at now cost of living keeps going up things are costing more money it's harder for people to hold down jobs this is all from uh, two different cbs articles by the way um cbs is a is a mainstream thing that's reporting this shit mainstream corporate media is talking about this on average, this is one of the things that the article pointed out, in order to like sustain uh, just the cost of living, just an apartment in some of these cities, uh, what it's looking like is, on average, uh, in order to have a one-bedroom apartment, minimum wage needs to be double what it is. And if you want to have a two-bedroom apartment, you need triple what the minimum wage actually is. Or what it should be, right? Um, what do I mean by that? Uh, there, we're asking for a $15 minimum wage. In order for you to have a one-bedroom apartment in most cities, it, uh, it has to be double what that is. Like Hawaii, it's, uh, it's like 10 10 or something is what the minimum wage is. It, you, in order to have a one-bedroom apartment in Hawaii, you should be at $22 an hour. That's where things are. Minimum wage has not kept up with, with the rate of uh, inflation. It hasn't kept up with the rate of anything. And people are struggling. They have two, three jobs in order to like make ends meet. And you need two, two jobs in order to have double the amount of money that you actually need in order to afford a place to live. And there are people out there that can't do that. People forget that a lot of people that are homeless uh, live in their cars. They have jobs. They make money. They live in their car. Because a car payment is the equivalent of, uh, of of someone's rent. I'm in that situation. And it's difficult. It's hard. There's some months where I'm very concerned about it. Some months are better than others, but there are some months where I'm very, very nervous about making both payments. And there's corporations that are fighting this shit, right? Corporations are coming out and saying, oh, but... You know, if we pay people a living wage, what's left for us uh, is still about $100 billion. You're, you're, you're still going to make, uh, I want to say, go ahead and say a shit ton of money. You're still going to make a shit ton of money. Oh, if, they, if, if we get taxed, how are we going to pay our employees? You just pay them because you're making a shit ton of money. Your take home is an astronomical amount of money. Look, if you have enough money that you can pump uh, money that people have never seen in their lives, the, uh, the amount of money that people have never fucking seen in their lives in order to disrupt a fucking campaign, I think you're going to be fine paying some taxes 
to help out a city that you're fucking in. To help out your employees afford that one bedroom apartment that they need to live in. I think you're going to be fine. Instead of $175 billion, if you just make $80 billion, I think you're going to be fine. Nick Hanauer points out this, right? Nick Hanauer is also a Washington State person that fought for a $15 an hour minimum wage. And he's a venture capitalist, and he talks about how we need to take care of our workers or else there's going to be some kind of a violent revolution once people realize that the work that they're doing not just has meaning, but is also fucking over their lives. And there are uh, a small group of people that are that are living the dream. They have their Cadillac health insurances, and they're basically using what astronomical wealth they have to pump uh, into ensuring that uh, other people don't. Other people don't have uh, what they need. Nick Hanauer talks about that. He's a venture capitalist. Basically, talks about a middle-out economy. That's what we need. That's what a lot of these. Uh, a lot of people are fighting for, right? Whenever you fight for that $15 uh, an hour minimum wage, you're fighting for a middle out economy. You need a stronger middle class in order to keep the economy going. Because people forget, people always assume, right? Bringing it back to the Wall Street, they always assume, well, if the markets are doing well, if Wall Street's doing well, then the country and we are doing well. Well, that's not true. Wall Street and and the stock market is basically just a, a popularity contest for a bunch of rich people. That's all that is. We drive the economy. When we go in and spend money at, at small businesses and uh, at independent artists and independent you know, uh, breweries and media and support these, these causes, that's what drives the economy forward. And these rich people are basically using their money to make sure that we can't do that and convincing people that, no, 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 if us rich, it's a trickle-down bullshit. And there's, there's never been a moment in our history that trickle-down has ever been effective. Has it ever fucking worked? CBS News is reporting this shit. I find that fucking astounding. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Uh, This is part of a little series I do called Road Reflections, where I talk to you while I'm on tour uh, about the current sociopolitical environment, current news stories, uh, debates, that sort of stuff that I don't get to talk about on my podcast, Taboo Table Talk or Forkful of Noodles. It's a little bit looser. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this clip. If you guys enjoyed it, uh, you can find the full episodes on my Facebook page. Uh, you can go like Krish Mohan, uh, social vigilante and comedian. And uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Uh, share this out if you enjoyed it. Um, and another way to help uh, see more regular content is by becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash Haha. Thanks again, guys, and we'll see you on the road. If you enjoyed the content of this video, there is a very good chance that you probably will enjoy my live stand-up comedy. I'm going to be touring all across the country, so if you are in Atlanta, Charlotte, North Carolina, Wilmington, North Carolina, Augusta, Georgia, Fort Wayne, Indiana, Champaign, Illinois, Bloomington, Illinois, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Madison, Wisconsin, Minneapolis, Minnesota, I will be coming to your city very soon. You can go get your tickets to come see my live stand-up comedy over at ramennoodlescomedy.com. That's R-A-M-A-N noodlescomedy.com. I hope to see you guys there. Thanks for checking out the video, and we'll see you on the road.